Nowadays, when homeowners planning to upgrade their floors, besides color and pattern, they will also consider several things. Environmentally friendly, durability, functionality, healthy for the family, including furry members, and energy savings. Yes, you are right, energy savings. And I'll tell you more about that at the end of this video. In terms of environmentally friendly flooring, if you search on the internet, you will see the top two are cork flooring and bamboo flooring. We will compare these two floorings today and give you more facts and difference between them. First of all, color and pattern are very personal. There is no right or wrong, but it's always good to have a choice between traditional and stand out. Cork flooring available in various colors from traditional wood grains to unique raw looking cork patterns, which for sure will have lots of compliments from your visitors. Bamboo flooring mainly in strips and lines, to me, it's a bit boring. Most cork floorings are made in Europe. As we all know, they have a higher standard on environmental concerns. Green Guard Certificate is another way to look for less chemical emission products, which have proven to meet some of the world's most rigorous standards on reducing the risk of chemical exposure and have less indoor air pollution. Cork comes from the bark of cork oak trees, which harvested every 9 to 10 years. It can be harvested 12 to 15 times during their lifespan. So you don't need to feel guilty when enjoying your cork floor because you're not actually cutting trees down. It is absolutely sustainable. Compare it to bamboo flooring. It has been in the market for about 20 years. Most of them are sourced and manufactured in China near Jingjiang province. It is still a very young product and their quality... Ah, hmm. Lots of bamboo flooring factories turned bankrupt or closed down due to faulty designs and caused warp, break apart, unreasonably dented and scratched under mild use. One of the cases is Lumber Liquidators. They've agreed to pay $30 million to end a 2014 class action lawsuit, which consumers alleged their Morningstar strand bamboo flooring is uniformly defective and lasts not even close to its warranted 30 year lifespan. How's the durability compare between cork and bamboo flooring? To find out, we need to learn their history. Cork flooring has been around since as early as 1870. In Washington DC, the US Library of Congress, which was built in 1897, still has its original cork floor there. That is over 125 years old. Cathedrals in Portugal and Spain often used cork flooring starting a century ago and still in use. Hi, Grand Grandpa! I'd love to play on your cork floor! It's so comfy! That's just one of the reasons why cork floors are considered as the most durable of all floors. The surface is even durable enough to handle commercial usage and office chair casters without a mat, but gentle enough for kids to play on. Bamboo flooring is hard on the surface, even harder than most hardwoods, but without the warm touch of cork. It is durable if without the faulty design, wrap, break apart issues that we mentioned earlier. How about moisture and wet environments? Which floor stands better? This time, let's talk about bamboo first. Bamboo is sensitive to humidity. We're not only talking about puddled and splashed water. Even humidity can cause problems for bamboo flooring. Spaces such as bathrooms especially. Water in the air can be more damaging to bamboo than direct. Cork glue down tiles can be installed in bathrooms and can stand well with water, period. How about dents and scratches? Other than strand woven bamboo, they are relatively hard material, which can be subject to scratches, dents, and cracks easily under daily use. Pet nails, unpadded high heels, and dragging furniture across the floor can cause unsightly marks. Even small particles of dirt and debris can act like grit to sand and score the flooring over time, end up in a dull and broken appearance. Cork's natural cellular structure with self-healing feature is a gift from nature. Say if you drop a hammer on a cork floor, it might dent, but it will restore. Amazing, right? I hope my auto body has this feature too. Okay, let's talk about functionality. What features can a floor have? In fact, there are more than you can think of. Cork produces a natural element called suberin. This waxy substance acts as a natural repellent to insects, mold, and mildew. Cork is a good thermal insulation. With millions of tiny air pockets like a honeycomb, cork becomes a wonderful insulator to keep your rooms warmer in winter and cooler in summer. 
Cork can insulate against or disperse sound waves, allowing for quieter living and limit sound to transfer between floors. And the best of all is the comfort under your feet. Imagine you're stepping on the clouds and jumping from one to another. Wait, 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 wait. We need to be more realistic. It's more like stepping on a solid yoga mat, which can release the stress and pain from your ankle, knee, and back. People that have cork floors in their kitchens need not to even lay standing mats for long hour preparations. Your cork floor is also warm enough for bare feet on a desolated winter work morning. Ah, I already feel great about that. Wake up. The feature of bamboo floor is a... floor. Where's the rest of my script? That's it? Huh, let's move on. How healthy to live with cork flooring and bamboo flooring. Subarin, the natural wax-like substance found in cork, blocks the growth of microorganisms that promote mold, mildew, and termites. Cork flooring does not off-gas or shed microfibers to negatively affect indoor air quality. Therefore, what you get is a healthier and cleaner floor that traps less dust as well. One of the problems that you may be aware of in bamboo floors is greyish, streaky discoloration in planks. This is fungus that has attacked the bamboo during the first few days after it was harvested. Raw bamboo rots need to be treated with borate solution within two days after it's cut. If mold has set in before the treatment, it may still be visible in the finished floor. Do you want to live with fungus? Not me. Especially not with my kids. Last, as promised earlier, let's talk about how to achieve energy savings. If you remember, we said cork is a good thermal insulation. It can save your energy consumption from heating and cooling. It means you are treating our Mother Earth better by leaving less carbon footprints and being kinder to your piggy bank. As a conclusion, I can see lots of benefits from cork flooring. Good thermal insulation, helpful sound barrier, comfort under feet, natural repellents to insects, mold and mildew, and it's nice to Mother Earth and your pocket. So what will you choose? Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.